The last thing with regular expressions I want to do is show you a couple of online tools that are available for you that will make your life a whole lot easier. Because um, I know you don't want to be doing these visual graphs that we've been doing for the tutorial forever. The thing that I've been showing for the longest time is this place called uh, Rubylar. And it allows you to do something like I'm going to look for our phone number. And so we look for it like this and that's nice you can do a test string one two three four five six seven eight nine zero and it matches and then you can do things like see that there's there's grouping in in here so let's put that grouping around here and see how that does and now you can see how the the matches work and that's really nice we can make it a, a, it's implicitly got a global modifier so we can do um, 098 765 321 and now you can see how how that works and so forth so I used to po point to this and up until a few weeks ago because it's so nice and it's it any of these things are going to exactly match for for Ruby so you know that this documentation is is correct it turns out every language does regular expressions a tiny bit differently than than other regular expressions and so it's nice to have something that's specifically Ruby ish um, but I've been really enjoying this new tool here regex 101 and I'm, I'm going to uh, copy this same regular expression into here um, and now I am going to put the, the G on here and then I'm going to copy these regular expressions right here or the test strings right there and you can see you get the exact same information you get the first match the second match you get exactly which columns those match in you get nice color coding here to be able to see where those those matches are uh, you get a lot of information uh, about that you you can you know turn off the the G and then the first one matches it's it's pretty robust that way and if you did like uh, the visual model that we've been working with in class it has something very uh, similar to that and we can see right here here's our regular expression this is what we're matching this is where the matches are and um, and how they're doing that and you can see the same thing here there's a little backtracking involved because it, does, it can't match on the the new line character it has to match on the first character and if if we go back and put something bogus in here like put an, an A in rather than a number and go back and look at that we can see all the backtracking necessary and so forth before it finally goes ahead and matches that second number in there so I'm sure you were wondering if if it can be done it should be automatable and it is this is not identical to the visual model we did and in some ways it's nicer because it's got color coding and and indicates backtracking uh, better and so forth but uh, that's uh, available for you as well and it it does a nice thing of explaining in as much English as possible and you can collapse things if, if you want uh, what exactly the different parts of, of your regular expression mean. So you can make sure that you have exactly what you want to, to have in there. Uh, then finally, the tool I want to point to you is this regexer. And we'll just oh, copy the wrong thing. We will copy that and put this in here and this is called a railroad diagram let's see if I can make it bigger 
and right now it's not very interesting because you just go from from left to right but the nice thing is is that this will specific if you can get from this left dot to this right dot then you've got a matching regular expression it shows you where the groupings are so what the capture are. Um, there's an implicit direction in here you go through this digit three times before you can come out and so forth uh, we can do something like put alternation in here and we can say um, make it a not as good regular expression for an email address and let's capture that as well and now when we update that we know now you get alternate um, paths through that you can go through here to get to the end you can go down here through the end and you have literals you have character classes you can make your own character classes as well let's make a third one of that let's make a character class that is uh, 0 to 9 um, and A to F, so this would be hexadecimal digits. And you can't see that because it's too small, so it's so 0 through 9, A through F, and some number of those, and I'm capturing those as well. So now we have our own character class that, that we made. It can be either z the digits or the letters. This would be hexadecimal. Maybe you want to make it case insensitive. So you add that in there and so forth. This is called a railroad diagram. And it's another way to just say, what is the way to go from starting to finish? If I can get through the path somehow that, um, oh, and look at here. There's no repetition here. That would have been that can help you see those kind of errors. And you, if you can take your test string and follow the path appropriately through here and get over here, then you know you have a matching uh, thing. But it, it's, it's hard to, to deal with backtracking and so forth with the diagrams. So that's why we did not do railroad diagrams. But these are three online tools that you can use to help yourself do regular expressions post this class.